This is a message to Brandon Flowers, a man who has made me go to the abyss. Thanks a lot for that, Brandon. I'm going to talk about your song from here on out and tell you exactly what it was all about, if you want to know, if you get this message. You knew I was feeling suicidal. And it might have occurred to you that if someone's feeling suicidal and they're hoping to leave the star-crossed world behind, that they might have all kinds of strange thoughts going through their head and they might very well cook up a world of fear for themselves if they're feeling that low. And that world of fear was only in my own mind, by the way. And what goes on in a person's own mind shouldn't matter as long as they're not acting it out in reality. And you should have known that, by the way. You really should have known that. Thanks for rewriting the whole scriptures and what was meant to be for no real reason, just because of something going on in my mind. If someone was hoping to leave the world behind, do you think their mind would not be a bit chaotic? Do you think their mind would be sensible and rational? Did it not occur to you that perhaps the very fact that I was hoping to leave it all behind was the very reason all kinds of strange stuff was going on in my head when I was hearing voices and things like that might have occurred to you. I would have expected someone as intelligent as you to have a, be a bit more liberal about it and actually be philosophical enough to realize what was actually going on. So this is a message to Brandon Flowers and the killers themselves. You really should have known better than to chuck it all away because of meaningless words that didn't even really mean anything, that didn't manifest in reality, that didn't really do anything to anyone apart from what was going on in my mind. So thanks a lot for that. Now I'll suffer in the abyss because of you. Thanks a lot for that.